Hi guys, so in today's video we're going to be talking about Bob Grange and if you don't know Bob Grange, Bob Grange is the Minister of Entertainment and Sports and Culture but I'm not going to be talking about her directly, I'm going to be talking about her driver. So they say Bob Grange driver charged with abduction and sexual grooming. The long-serving driver of Olivia Bobsey Grange, currently the Minister of Culture, Gender Affairs, Entertainment and Sports, has been charged with the abduction of a child under 16, along with sexual grooming by detectives from the Center for Investigation of Sexual Offenses and Child Abuse. The accused is 47-year-old Raymond Roman. Roman was arrested and charged in Spanish Town, St. Catherine, on April 23. Following a report from a complainant, a 14-year-old girl. Wow. <clears throat> he has been released on a $200,000 bond and is scheduled to reappear in court next month. Among the terms of his bail, he has been ordered to surrender his travel documents to police. So recently we held the discussion if Jamaica age of consent need to be higher and me personally I believe that the age of consent in Jamaica should be 18 years old but Jamaica have this backwards law that the age of consent is 16. So if you're 16 and you get pregnant you have to go to a adult or have an adult permission one of your parents permission to get an abortion and I find that is ridiculous okay you can have sex at 16 consensual sex but if you get pregnant and you don't want to have that child you have to go to your parents to get consent which seems ridiculous and totally redundant to me personally but this is what helps with cases like these she's 14 two years away from age of consent and this man is 47 years old he could be this girl's grandfather and he sexually abused her and this goes to show even the people that you think that are not associated with you or the people that you think Oh, am I just Bobsy Grange taxi driver, man? In cool, whatever. Am I just Bobsy Grange driver? Yeah, man, me can send me daughter, go with him, and all of that. She, is she all good? In we take care of her. Like, don't leave your child in the hands of anyone. No one. Don't trust anyone with your kid, man, woman, cousin, family, blood, or water. Because I find that in Jamaica, them old mania seem like they don't like nothing else more than like a pitney. And it's very, very disturbing. Very disturbing actually. And a lot of the a lot of people are gonna say, no idea the Jamaican girl them, especially the younger one them, or be like, me no one no man my age, me want old man or more man we can't take care of me and all that. But that does not justify them actually participating and actually dating with them liquor girl yeah. Like, gone are the days in a Jamaica when one man see one liquor young girl and he probably say the girl look nice in her, in her head or whatever. But he would never in her right mind put words to the girl or try to look the, the, the girl. Like, nowadays the man them just, they don't care. They don't care if you're young, old, black, white, green or yellow. And it's very sad because Jamaican people used to protect minors. We used to protect our children. And it seems like all of that has gone out the door. But we need to get back to that. We need to get back to protecting our children. Because the children are the future. When I'm a pastor, I rape them off. A politician. When I'm a politician, a police. 
when a police a soldier, like when a when a soldier a doctor, when a doctor a lawyer, like it seemed like this continuous cycle, okay. And when they plead guilty to sexually off uh, offenses in Jamaica, them get liquor to no time, and they don't have to sign up on a sex offenders list or any of that. Them just go back into the world free flowing to do the same thing over again because jamaica has this dumb law that once you plead guilty they give you a lesser sentence and that's what a lot of people have been taking advantage of especially in rape and sexual abuse cases but it looked like the center for investigation of sexual offenses and child abuse is not plain okay they are not plain and i like how they're actually taking a lot of these person into custody and actually arresting them and not letting them get off scotch-free because you know a lot of these people especially this person that is connected to bob zagrange you know him have like a bit of money and him can be like all right me pay off the girl or me pay off the family if it make them if it keep them silent so basically pay them x amount of money to keep their mouth shut and that's not right to me i feel like they need to be held accountable they need to be put in jail they need to serve their sentences and they don't need to come out early either i don't care how many years them get and how they how old they are they need to be held accountable so come in the comment section and tell me what you guys think about this story do you think that raymond roman will actually be held accountable and actually get a hefty sentence for the rape of a 14 year old girl or do you think that because he's connected to somebody high in society or high in jamaican society and we just dash off a one two three four five thousand hundred thousand dollars and then they call it quits and then the girl retracking statement and all that, or retracker statement and all of that and then this case just go bye bye and evaporate into thin air comment in the comment section and tell me what you guys think is going to happen in this story don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to your girl here on youtube i'm a part of here deuces